As we take a look first warn Doppler radar, yeah, it is a slow moving hurricane. You can see the bulk of the heavy rainfall at the moment just south of Wilmington and then other feeder bands tracking up there towards the Outer Banks all the way into the coastal plain around Kinston, North Carolina. So very, very heavy rainfall. Obviously, the storm surge is a factor as well. Winds right now down to 80 miles per hour, some gusts to about 100. So it's a category one hurricane. Look at how it's moving west southwest at only three miles per hour. This is what's going to happen over the next day or so as we take a look at tonight, 8 o'clock, 75 mile an hour winds, almost exactly where it is. We get to tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., just right on top of Garden City, a bit north of there, near Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Saturday night, 8 p.m., you can see south uh, east of Rock Hill, South Carolina. Sunday morning, 8 a.m., to the southwest of Charlotte, North Carolina. Once again, sustained winds at 80, gusting to 100 miles an hour, barely moving west-southwest at three miles per hour. What's interesting is some of the high winds. The wind speed is doing some interesting things. Let's get the latest on that situation. Here's Chris Mulcahy. Yeah, Larry, what I'm about to show you is very, very interesting. Check this out. So we know we are looking at a reduction in the parameter of the hurricane winds. This is incredible, and you're seeing a lot of bright colors that are heading towards the radar and going to go away. That is going to be coming up pretty soon, but we are seeing that hurricane wind field shrink. But that doesn't mean that it's still not very strong. We're still having wind gusts as high as 100 miles per hour. A lot of torrential rain that's coming along with that. But we still have such a big tropical storm force wind range. I'm talking about over 300 miles of that. So this is really neat. This is what I wanted to show you. So what you're looking at is the velocity scope. When it's heading towards the radar, it's green. When it's really strong winds heading towards the radar, it's blue. And the inverse, red is away. The yellow, very strong. Most recent readings, still seeing some gusts or sustained winds up to 73, 88 miles per hour. But watch closely. Over the last three hours, the yellow has shrunk. The blues have shrunk. So that core of the hurricane winds is a little bit stronger still smaller, but at least we're seeing more tropical storm winds outside of that showing a gradual weakening trend. That's why we only sustained winds at around 80 miles per hour. Let's